two. This week I'm going to share some throwing on the wheel. Uh, I'm hand building a teapot for an event I just found out about a few days ago. So I am rushing to get it done. It would be my first juried uh, submission somewhere where somebody's actually had to judge it <laughs> and decide yay or nay. Um, I, I like how it's coming along. Everything is in process, so this week I'm just going to share with you some of my adventures and things that I've been working on. Uh, I'm going to share a technique of the week, one that I used on um, actually the teapot. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. Oh, I actually got a nice little um, something. A new stamp! I don't know, a new chalk mark. But uh, anyway, I shared with that on my, my blog. Um, uh, it's hobbypotter.blogspot.com. I'll put the link down below. But I shared how I, I made the rubber stamp to uh, um, for my, my new chalk mark. And it's actually my initials. I actually did it myself. Pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed today's clip. At the very end, if I think of anything that I want to say, I'm going to make a... Um, uh, Tammy Joe's Table Talk, it'll be talking about, I won't do that every time, but if I think of something else I want to chat about, I'm going to put it at the end so that um, I'm not clogging up the beginning of the videos, and if people don't want to listen, they can just shut it off. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoy my Hobby Potter journey. Um, enjoy! I'm used to throwing alone and working in my studio, but I had the wonderful blessing of having my daughter sit out there with me while she was uh, discussing her artwork. She does etchings, drawings, oil paintings, and we were talking about uh, sketching, which is something that I don't know how to do, um, but something I'm willing to learn how to do. She's amazing at it, and uh, we were just having a little bit of a conversation there, and she's dropped some names of her favorite artists, and uh, so when I sped it up, we sounded like little chipmunks and decided to cut it out. So hope you guys enjoyed the throw here. Um, yeah, it was it was really great. I, I was able to focus on both things. It was really a nice time. This teapot is uh, something I'm creating for the show that I just recently found out about. Um, it's going to be an organic form, and I really love doing this because I can alter it and change my way of thinking as I go along. But the technique that I'm, I'm sharing today that I used this week was um, taking these stencils and actu actually texturizing inside the stencil. Um, I'm looking forward to using it because I like to use the black wash technique, and that's kind of what I have in my head what I'm going to do for this. But um, I'm hoping that that these will turn out clear enough and that the pots form will show all the different texturing because I'm using a lot of different techniques for texturing. But this week's stencils.
me introduce you to Duke. This is my buddy, and he's not used to being in my studio, but I brought his little bed in, and he's just trying to understand what's going on in here. Uh, what are you doing there, bud, huh? Anyway, thanks for coming in. Maybe you'll calm down and get to lay down and have a great time with your mama. Okay, some of you know that I was taking my pottery making illustrated magazines and putting the favorite articles that I find in sheet protectors. This is a hodgepodge. I said that last video, but this is just a culmination of my, my favorite information that I could find from there. And eventually, I'm going to be taking these and um, separating them out into sections, you know, like this one, how, how much clay do you need? And it tells me exactly, if I need to share it with you, it tells me what magazine it was in and what month and, and year. Uh, so I'm going to be using some of these at whatever interval inspires me. Uh, there's one right now that has my eye, and I two of them actually, so I put them in the front. But this one is, uh, I, I'm looking forward to trying this project and also this one because I really love how this looks and some of my pieces have I like the black and white anything with just that tad of color so anyway looking forward to using this in the resources for my next projects that I'm planning Wanted